Meanwhile, farmers under the auspices of United Farmers Association, Kadarko, has appealed to both Nasarawa and Benue state governments to help secure the release of 40, 42 corpses of tea farmers killed in Kiana local government area of Nasarawa state to enable families bury them before the 1st of December 2024. The 42 corpses, mostly tea farmers killed and their homes destroyed, were allegedly uh, killed by Alago militia in Kiana local government area of Nasarawa state over land dispute five months ago. The president of the United Farmers Association of, of Kadarko Ufak, Chief Denen Utsak, disclosed that the corpses are in the custody of the traditional ruler of Osana of Osana in uh, Kiana local government. He called on Governor Abdullahi Sule and his ben Benwe counterpart, Hyson Dalia, to prevail to him to release the remains of the farmers for burial. Our Benwe state correspondent, Francis Ter, reports that some agreed farmers at Yeleweta, a border town between Nasarawa and Benwe, described the attacks as an act of genocide against the Tif people resident in Kiana local government and must be condemned. We have been calling. We follow every responsible government agency institution. The police, the DSS, the civil defense, the office of the Attorney General of both Benwe State and Nasarawa State, the governor himself, the enemy of Lafia, the Totif of Benue State are all informed. The President General of Mzoti will all reach to, to appeal to the government of Nasara State to recover this crop and give to us so that they will bury it. I am appealing to the governor of Benue State and Nasarawa State on behalf of Team Nation to here look at how we have been massacred in Kiana local government. In a government, local government headquarters, no refuge, no intervention. Give us cop for us to be buried according to our own tradition. You said no. We are peaceful people who wouldn't want problem. The government should intervene for our own security. Enough is enough. Because these people are supposed not to treat us in this way. If not, person like me, my main cousin was killed in that. And up to now, I've not seen his call. Look at how our people who were innocent in Kenya were wiped away. And nobody has come out to tell us why. And even for them to identify those corpses so that we cannot bury our people. That has not been done. Meanwhile, the farmers and their families, most of whom are displaced and living in IDP camps, are appealing for government's intervention, stating that if the attack on tea farmers, which started since 2011, had had government intervention, it would not have led to the scale of destruction against the people who have lived over, who lived in the area for over 200 years. Please, we are appealing to the two government, Nasser and Federal State. Let them come to our heads and get this cause. Before December 1st, at least, who don't make the barrier, waiting for the Christmas celebration. Thank you all. Government doesn't come in to risk it. I feel, I, I, I feel, I'm convinced that they will not stop until government intervention is seen. They give us our cause so that we bury them. And another thing that I want government to help us here, at least let them demarcate so that we know boundary. the boundary between Benue and Nasarawa, so that at least if anything happens, we be it. Please. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.